All right. <laughs> <laughs> what about a royal wedding in 1878 right here in beautiful downtown Ipswich? It's 814. How are you, Harold? Oh, fantastic, Danny, and royal weddings always interest people, don't they? Well, especially when the peacock gets you on the pecker. Now, tell yeah, me... Yeah, well, especially in Ipswich, right? <laughs> You're a funny bludger. All right, now tell us a story, because another great story. By the way, if any of the channels are listening, Channel 9, 7, 10, get on to that one about last week, which you, you've located somebody. Tell her that quickly. What was that about? Yeah, look, that, that, that was uh, World War One. Uh, We've lost you, Harold. You, where is it? What's happened? Harold, where are you? Oh, no, he's gone. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just, Hello, we're getting just him back. Danny. Just, just film, Danny. Just film. Yeah, Harold's being yeah, picked Danny. on the pecker by another peacock. <laughs> <laughs> well, just the peacock's <laughs> got him on the pecker. Uh, someone's... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Harold. You hung, up, you hung up on me, Danny. No, how did the peacock go on the pecker? All right, mate. Now, tell us a story last week. You located some old World War I veteran or something. Yeah, it was it was uh, Ernest Weeks. He was um, unfortunately um, died, while, you know, after he returned to Australia. But he was still serving in the army before he was discharged. He was never added to the Australian War Memorial Roll of Honor. Uh, I've sent the research to uh, to them. They've made the recommendation. Hopefully, uh, next month. Uh, the uh, council down there will be adding him after 102 years. Wow, that's a great yarn. I'll get on to someone. Paul Taylor, are you listening from Channel 9 News? I'll talk to Paul. Now, tell us about the Royal Wedding in 1878. Yeah, and this Royal Wedding was right here in Ipswich, and it's about George Augustus Constantine Phipps, who was mm. the second Marcus of Normanby and previously the Earl of Mulgrave. Mm. Now, in 1871, he became the third governor of Queensland. Wow. The Mulgrave River and the Normanby River, they were named after him, and even even Brisbane's Normanby Hotel. Oh. Now, his his third son, Lord Harvey Phipps, yeah. he visited Ipswich Racecourse in April 1878 for a pigeon shooting match, right. which he easily, easily won by grasping all his seven birds. <laughs> but it was the governor's second son, Lord Henry Phipps, who was a really regular visitor, especially that's because he was courting a young local oh, girl. Oh, a bit of, bit of jiggy jig going on there. Oh, I'd, I'd say so. Yeah, and by the end of the year, on the 21st of November, 1878, oh. Lord Henry Phipps married 21-year-old Miss Norma Caroline Leaf Hay. How old now, was he? Was, uh, he was 27, so oh, okay. not too much older. No, that's all right. But the... Yeah, but Norma was born in Ipswich, mm-hmm. and she was the granddaughter of Colonel Gray, who was the first police magistrate in Ipswich, Whoa. which means Norma was Ipswich through and through. But she, but she was no stranger to aristocracy, uh, Danny, no. because Norma's younger brother, Charles, oh. was the future laird of Leith Hall in Scotland. Wow. But anyway, back to the wedding. The yeah. wedding was at, at Ipswich's St Paul's Church, mm-hmm. and from the social standing of the, of the parties involved, mm-hmm. excitement, it was... There was just more. There was more excitement than the usual interest because there was a huge crowd at the church, and mm. inside and outside in the surrounding streets. They were just hoping to catch glimpses of the uh, Marcus, the Lords, and the Lairds, and other big names. Wow! The bride had six bridesmaids, so there was barely standing room inside. Wow! Now, now after the wedding, Lord Henry Phipps and his bride Norma. Right. Went to their new home at Bow Desert right. on the Logan River, yes. and that's where they raised their royal family. Now, Lord Henry Fitt died in 1905. He mm. left his widow mm. and their six children. And Danny, that's where the story gets really interesting for mm. us here at Ipswich. You wow. see, t- today the fifth Marcus of Normanby lives in London and at his 17th century Mulgrave Castle in Yorkshire, England. Mm. Now, if something awful happens to the Marcus's four English heirs mm. who are next in the line of succession, mm. or none of them have any male heirs of their own, mm. which is of course very possible, yes. the title of Marcus of Normby will come to Ipswich. Wow. And, and that's because the next seven in line to inherit the title are the descendants on the male line of Lorne Henry Phipps of Bow Desert and his Ipswich wife, Norma. Is now, there... Danny... Yes. Yes. Yeah, no, you know, look, relatives. I was just saying... I'm after relatives. Absolutely. And the Phipps boys, they live in Brisbane suburbs uh, like Chermside, Bracken Ridge, yeah. Acacia Ridge and Morningside. Yeah. Now, yeah. they come from a, tra- a family of tradies. It's electricians and plumbers. So yeah. just remember, Danny, whoever comes to fix your pipes could be the next Marcus of Normanby. Wow. Well, I hope they don't touch me on the pipes. But anyhow, <laughs> I, I, I knew a David Phipps who was a... 
a, a young partner, I think, of O'Shea Caution and Wadley Solicitors when I was a young uh, a solicitor's clerk back in the 70s. I wonder if he's related. It, it, it could well be. In fact, we should say hello to the Phipps boys because they might be listening right now, Benny. Yeah. There's, there's, there's Douglas, Paul, uh, Russell, there's da- your David maybe, Anthony, Paul and John. All the best to all of you guys because one day you might be the Marcus Normby and inherit that awesome castle in Yorkshire. Another great story only heard here on West Bremer Radio with the man who has got a wonderful website. Check it out or on Facebook. What is your website, Facebook, whatever? Yeah, it's called historyoutthere.com. And you'll post this story by what, this afternoon? No, tomorrow morning. Exactly. I knew you. I was just trying to see if you remembered. That was... You're, 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 my, you're my greatest reader, Danny. I really appreciate oh, that. I Thank fan, you. Mate, I reckon that last story last week should get some national coverage before Anzac Day. You have your ears and your heart and your soul and your bottom and every other part of your feet tuned to West Bremer Radio. That was Harold H. Peacock on West Bremer Radio 820. Take it away there, Spock.